Yo, what is up you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Benji and in this video we're going to go over some of the trades that I'm looking to make over the next week and some stocks that are on my watch list. It is going to be another very interesting week in the stock market, you guys. The market has come up quite a bit over the last few weeks and a lot of people are speculating that we might have a little bit of a pullback here, which would totally be understandable, honestly. But at the same time, it's just as reasonable to see the market continue to go up, honestly. Nothing would really surprise me at this point. Some of my overall plans for the big portfolio this week is not only going to be to scale up in the options trading, which I've talked about in my last few videos, because we are getting that large deposit, I think Monday or Tuesday, which would bring us to around $300,000 worth of portfolio value. So we definitely are going to be scaling up our options trading, most likely selling puts with Apple. But as far as new stocks that I'm going to be looking to purchase this week, you guys, it is, of course, going to have to depend if we do see an initial pullback come Monday or Tuesday, of course. If we do see that initial pullback come and we do go into the negative total return into some of these much higher quality stocks that I'm holding, I will be adding some more to my portfolio, stocks like Realty Income. Of course, I'm also going to be looking to add more Apple this week ongoingly. Um, if I do decide to sell puts on Apple, I might hold off on adding more because, of course, I might be assigned 100 shares, which, I mean, that would put me at a lot of shares overall with Apple. But either way, I will be nibbling on more Apple this week as well as more Microsoft, of course. Also, JP Morgan will be another stock that I will be looking at. I did just see that Warren Buffett sold his stake in JP Morgan, so we will see how the market takes that come Monday morning. Other than that, you guys, I will be trying to add more AT&T to the portfolio as always, just buying a few shares here and there of AT&T. I'm also going to be looking to add more Cisco to the portfolio. Cisco is still down pretty far, but luckily we have a dollar cost averaging pretty nicely. We are pretty close to even now with Cisco, even though the price has been beat up so much over the last week. I'm also going to be grabbing some more national retail properties, dollar cost averaging there, as well as more Intel, of course. The portfolio is coming together overall though, you guys. I have been selling off a lot of stocks that I just don't really want to hold on to anymore for the long term. And I will continue to sell off some other shares later this week. I've just been selling off a few positions here and there, just kind of feeling out the market. But while the market is up so high as it is currently, I do feel like stocks like British American Tobacco, I mean, I have 11 shares of it. I'm down a little bit of money and I just don't really want British American Tobacco in the portfolio anymore. I'd rather have a position in Ultra, which I am slowly building right now. Stocks like this, stocks like... Aries Capital, Starwood Property Trust, Startoga Investment, and so forth. There are still smaller companies in this portfolio that we will be trying to get rid of you guys over this next week. And even if we are at an overall loss with some of these, you guys, if the market does hold up or if it does continue to go up in the green, I will definitely be trimming off some more fat and putting that money into some higher quality stuff like Microsoft, like Apple, like AT&T, like Realty Income, like Coca-Cola, just higher quality stocks. And I saw someone in the comments saying that um, by me selling calls and puts and earning that premium, that sort of makes up the loss from the overall total return that I am taking with some of these lower quality stocks that we have been selling off if I am down like 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars or whatnot. And that is a really good way to look at it. I love looking at things that way because, because it doesn't feel necessarily as painful then if we are selling something that's say, uh, you know, a hundred dollar loss or something. If we're making a hundred dollars in one day from selling premium on something else in the portfolio, it's sort of net net even. So I do like looking at things that way as well. Next to you guys, I want to go through all the stocks that I did actually trim out of my portfolio over the last week. And again, these are not companies that aren't necessarily bad, you guys. These are just companies that were kind of sitting in the portfolio. I had a few shares of a few of these different companies and they just weren't really doing much for me. So I did trim them off. We got all together probably maybe a thousand, two thousand dollars of cash value from trimming all these. And we can then, of course, use that cash balance for something just higher quality in the portfolio. So you guys, the first position that we sold over last week was Enbridge. I had a few shares of this, not too many, but we sold out of this one. Next, we sold all of our Gladstone Capital last week, you guys. I did take a small loss on this one, but the stock really wasn't doing anything for a long time. It really took a hit in March, of course, but it was really trending sideways slash up a little bit for the long term. I don't really want to hold on to for, say, another year or two to come back up in price. It was just taking a little bit long and I was getting a little bit impatient. Then, you guys, we went ahead and sold all of our shares at Kraft Foods. I think I only had a few shares of Kraft, uh, but honestly, just not one of my favorite companies. Really wasn't doing much for their portfolio. I'd rather put the money to something higher quality. Then we did sell off our eight shares of KeyBank. Some of these stocks that I'm showing you guys right now, these were like very speculative plays that I made when I first started investing. I really didn't know what I was doing at all when I first started investing, keep in mind. So I was just going on different websites, looking up different dividend stocks. And if they were yielding a high at the time, which happened to be the all-time high of the market, I was grabbing a few shares here and there before I really figured out what I wanted to do with the portfolio and before I really started building on my position. So we did sell off all of our key bank as well. And next to you guys last week, we sold out of all of our shares of Duke Energy. Uh, not all that bad of a stock, honestly, but I already am exposed to a lot of energy throughout my whole entire portfolio. A lot more energy than I'd like to be exposed to. Um, so we are starting to trim away positions and keeping some positions that we want to actually keep in for the long term. 
And finally, guys, we trimmed off Bank of America last week. Uh, this was one that I definitely did not want to trim away, but the fact that I only had like one or two shares of it, just because again, I bought a few random stocks when I started with the portfolio before I really knew what I wanted to do as far as building up my position. So it did trim away Bank of America. Again, not that it's a bad stock. Bank of America is a pretty high quality stock in my opinion, but I do already have a lot of exposure to banks because I do own a lot of shares of JP Morgan as well as Wells Fargo. Um, I would rather have Bank of America than Wells Fargo, honestly, in my portfolio, but unfortunately I chose to go with Wells Fargo earlier on. Uh, Bank of America might be one that I'll add in later in the portfolio again, but for now it wasn't really doing much. It was just a share or two in there. So just trying to clean up the portfolio by getting rid of this too. So those are a few stocks I did trim away over the last week. I will be continuing to trim away stuff over this next week as well, you guys, I am sure. And I'll, of course, keep you guys updated on that. But I want you guys to comment down below if any stocks that you guys have trimmed away as of recently. And I'd love to see your guys' takes. Maybe drop also why you decide to trim them off. It doesn't need to be a crazy good reason. Like A lot of my reasons are honestly just because I already have so much exposure to that sector or whatnot. But overall, I will be trying to trim away some of the smaller cap companies in my portfolio. Because with this large long-term dividend portfolio, I really really want to start steering it towards a direction where it is just some of the highest quality stocks, of course, that do pay dividends and that I don't really have to worry about companies like Lowe's, companies like Kimberly Clark, companies like Johnson Johnson. Like I just wish I had more shares of these stocks rather than so many shares of these small cap REITs and whatever I decide to buy when I first start this portfolio. But we can't go back in the past, so all we can do is steer this ship. And of course, the ship is going to steer slowly because this is a pretty big ship. Um, but overall, you guys, we are moving towards the right direction, in my opinion. The portfolio is coming along. We, of course, are still learning as we go. We're doing the best that we can. But I really do think that over the next year, hopefully, we can steer this portfolio into a portfolio that's pretty much untouchable for the long term. And that we can kind of just sit there and watch it grow long term. But those are some of the stocks, you guys, that I will be keeping my eyes on over the next week, as well as I'm sure there's many others. It is going to be another interesting week in the stock market. We might see that pullback come through this week. I'm really curious to see when what happens. Or at the same time, we could see the market continue to go up and reach all-time highs. So either way, we've learned that it's pretty clear that anything can and will happen in today's stock market. So I do hope that you guys are as excited as I am. But that is going to do it for today's video, you guys. Comment down below any stocks that you guys will be watching to maybe buy this week. As well as, of course, comment down below any stocks that you have trimmed as of recently. I'm really curious. If you guys are just as excited as I am for this up and coming trading week and like this video, please, please drop a like on this video. It really helps the channel. Also, you guys make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already to follow along with the journey. I show you guys what I do every single day in the stock market. I leave nothing out. I show you all my trades, I explain to you guys why I did them, etc. And finally, you guys, we do have a dedicated Discord server just for investing. We have dividend investors in here. We have day traders, options traders, cryptocurrency traders. There's a ton and ton and ton of smart people in here, all giving plays, tips and tricks and all kinds of stuff. So if you guys haven't already joined the Discord, click the link down below in my description. It's free to join and we'll see you guys in there. Thank you so much once again for stopping by and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.